Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Kishen with the Ironclad run where we are doing uh, a really nice Searing Blow combo where we have a very thin deck with the Corruption. I'm finally making that work for me. And then two Impervious is cool. We can dual wield the Searing Blow if we're lucky. We, are, we want to insert as many campfires as we can now. Uh, this line does in fact have three, but only one elite. And we've got this one over here, which will allow for more and more elites. Okay, so you gotta go that way. And there's a shove on the way. Gotta come in from this angle. And we want to do as many combats as we can. So I think, well, not necessarily. Two question marks is definitely fine. Okay, and two thieves here. A looter and a mucker. Well, that's kind of a silly turn for us. Uh, but I'll definitely do a wheel with Clash. Uh, then I'll... Hmm. Yeah, True Grit. Uh, that's rough. Oh, we can play another skill. We are gonna. Let's hope. Yeah. Oh, and then... Hmm. Yeah, that worked out nicely. I definitely should have done that play. Uh, just for the chance of that happening. Leaden Orbit is not the best thing we could have, but it does combo sometimes, so it's fine. And flame and two attacks. Oh. Well, crap. 20 damage incoming. Sigh. But you gotta kill these guys fast, otherwise they steal our money. And I like my monies. HP only matters if it's your last HP. And Pervious is really nice here. So play that, of course. And then striking him again. Now they're gonna start to run away, I think. One of them will strike one more. No, no, not even. Okay. Well, we can do that and that. And let's see if we can hammer him down before he leaves. I don't think we will be able to. No. Bastard. That's the second thief that gets away from me in this run. I'm out of here. Boom. Ah. <sighs> okay. Okay, headbutt. You can dig for... What's it called? Searing Blow. I think that's a no-brainer, and it's upgraded already. This guy's a bit of a pain, but... We can make it. I think you just attack. We don't want to dig for anything here. Let's just do that. Get rid of the debuff protection and just hit him. And he's down to... Oh, okay. He's gonna buff it up. Uh, I think you play Corruption here. And then do Impervious. And then True Grit. And then do the Defend 2. Because why not? We get the Letter Opener. And it's going to optimize our deck quite nicely. We can do a wield in flame. But the clash is probably better here. And it's upgraded? No. Um, then in flame. Then strike, clash, clash. He's almost down, but he's gonna do 17. Yikes. Kill it. So we take a lot of damage, but we do it finish the fights fast, which I can't tell if we're doing well or not. Shrug it off. If any of these, then that should be the one, right? It will help with the letter opener. And it will help with drawing the the cards that we want, i.e. the Searing Blow. Ah. 
Like, I think we should be able to beat these guys, but then they start with 12, 20 attack, and I don't have any defense for it. So, I don't know. We are not in a hurry here. Ah, oh, do we do the impervious? Otherwise, it's too crit, and then we might lose the impervious anyway. Damn it. Come on, do other stuff. A little bit of other stuff there. What's in the discard? Struck it off. Could be dug up. Do impervious again. Uh, I think in flame. So I'm just taking that hit now. Or you do impervious again. I could also headbutt now, or I can thunderclap then headbutt. And dig up this, the shrug it off. Or the true grit. I think thunderclap, headbutt, shrug it off. Okay, now they're not attacking. This is not a good turn, but I should probably set up the corruption. Yeah. And then true grid and hope it's not to struck it off. It wasn't good. That's all I wanted. Get rid of something else. I was hoping for this strike, honestly. And then she heals and he protects her. Now we do a wheel. Probably the clash. Why can't we play it? Because we got to do it, right? Ah, 23, 16 per though, so yeah. Clash. Gotta focus that lady down. Which we then can. No, are you kidding me? Oh, we can. Ooh, we need to upgrade Searing Blow more. Yikes. Huh, gonna take so much damage. Why? I got a block potion, so I'm not too scared. I'm impervious now, so we don't take any damage. Headbutt to dig up the searing blow. Oh, and I ended the turn? Ah, oh, come on. Come on, Keishin. Being an idiot. And now we're gonna take more damage because of it. We have to do the true grit. Uh, we gotta do searing blow first. Oh wait, it's dead. Oof. So we gotta put more in deck for the internal feather. So dual wheel again is a really, really good card for us. And we're doing this way here. Yeah. Combat is better for us, assuming we take no damage of one cards. So yeah. Okay, one true grid in this round, and then bash first, I think. Oh, he's gonna do the what's it called? Hex. Ah, I mean, burned a true grid, but the corruption will be nice for us then, because, well, no. It's not really gonna be non-attack. We don't do a whole lot of that though. And then of course in this round we cannot play any attacks almost. We have to do corruption. At least they go away. Then And I have to pop the potion. Dual wheel. And flame. To get them later. Not that I really wanted them, I suppose. Because we can't really use them. Without triggering the days thing. This is the good way to door the days though, but it gets shoved into the draw pile, which really damn sucks. 
Shrug it off. And close line the flyer. To take almost no damage. Then hit that guy, I think. Do we build a strike? No. No, that's silly. Uh, we can do, do five to each by playing all the skills. No, that's not worth it though. I'm hitting him, I shouldn't have done that. I, I need to focus the bird down, I think. And we couldn't be weakened, so that's nice. They Sometimes they waste a turn on that, that's why it's so good. And is this the time to get rid of this? Uh, uh, yeah. Did he heal? No. You just don't do a lot of damage to him, that's the thing. Gotta play that. I'm focusing him down. We're gonna die, aren't we? It's not even an elite or anything. I'm not supposed to die to... Standard encounters, not with any, I think we have a good deck and everything. Here's impervious. Oh my god, we're dead. I mean, I can do nothing. We're dead, aren't we? 20 and 19. We're not dead. We're gonna be at 1 HP. 1 HP. 10 to him. Six, i.e. not 19, 16, what can we dig up? We can dig up in Pervious if we have that again next turn. I mean, that's, that's the play for sure. And then the bird, it's gonna be at three, which will be enough with a strike next turn. Gotta try it. Yeah, impervious. I'm gonna draw two daisies, but and the impervious. You know that. Haha, <laughs> one HP. How about I'll kill him? So this was a real sucky turn. Can't be weakened on, he's gonna buff himself. Oh, he's not attacking. Oh, we can dig up Impervious again. For sure. And strike. Okay, so we are gonna make it through. Oh my lord. Can't be weakened. He's buffing again. 28, but we can do 30 block. Can I kill him? Yes. Oof, easy PC. Dexterity potion, searing blow, no headbutt. For sure, we just saw how effective that was. Now, just as long as we don't lose HP here. Oh. We will choose one of 20 cards to add to our deck. We need to heal, but we will heal more if we have a bigger deck in the end. So we really need to just put in more stuff. Whenever a card is exhausted, draw a card. <sighs> oh, it's armaments here. It is not. Clash again. It's either Clash, Dark Embrace. Uh, is there a high cost skill? That would be interesting. Yeah, one that already exhausts. Uh, weak and vulnerable to all enemies. And that combos nicely with the high damage from Searing Blow. Clash, though. Should 
Shakanord, I believe you will now exhaust your hand for each exhausted card from this. Mm. Oh. Um, but that's not really what we need. We are already exhausting a whole lot. I think I'm clashing. Yeah, it's a really good card, for sure. I will heal. Eight. And then shop elite. Dexterity potion. No, I will go and do it. I think it's the play. I mean, 27 from one card. Seems too good to ignore. Maybe buy something healing here. Oh, yes. Panache. Every time you play five cards in a turn, no. No, that's going to exhaust. True Grid on sale, huh? But we're getting the Auric Calcum. That is absolutely certain. And we want to fill in cards. So, True Grid. That was a 25. We could get Fire Breathing. Another dual wield. We have two already. Ah. Ah. The more clashing. The more we have of them, the better they are. Away. Oh, Regen Potion. Probably what we need to get right now. It's 15 HP. It's like buying a healing potion. Yeah. We should buy a car as, as soon, but. Build is nice. Or save some money for potential question mark encounters. Weak times three. Eh. Too vulnerable for free. Um, it's, it's a good card. It is. Um, oh. And it would not be nice with the Syrian Bow and most of our attacks. We just want to kill people fast. So yeah, I think Trip is actually a play. You can always play it. You can exhaust it with Corruption and other stuff. 15 HP. I took the Regen Potion, the Dexterity and or Calcum. Yeah. Uh-oh. They always start with that. Well, drink it everything, drink it, drink it everything, drink it all, that's what I was trying to say. Impervious, and then True Grid and hope to get a Defend out. Uh, why? I mean, I cannot play the dual build. This was a bad turn. I mean, drawing the, the 30 block is important. Too grid. Okay, gotta optimize the deck a little bit here. Wanna get the damages. Oh, and wounds, that's not good. And we're dead. Try to kill one. Uh, I have to do the math. 28. Uh, 40. 46. And then these two will not kill us. Okay. What do we get back? True grit or dual wield or clash. Clash. That was pretty lucky. Yo. We have another impervious in the deck. We didn't draw it and we needed it. We have to play the defend. And then the searing blow and the clash. Still not dead. Oh, and 
can't be weakened. I really love the ginger. Uh, that is very, very nice. Impervious, keeps us alive. Gotta do it. Headbutt, we can dig for something and kill. Get the other headbutt. Oh, the searing glow. Probably the right call, right? So Searing Blow and Two Grit. Okay, that worked out nicely. Oh, we get six if I don't do anything, so we didn't need to. Interesting. I may have bamboozled it. Uh, yeah, Trip. So why wouldn't you? You can dual wield in flame and then struck it off. So I might as well struck it off first. Headbutt will dig for nothing. Well, trip. Yeah. No, wait a minute. What am I doing? No. Nope, that wasn't the right call. But I mean, okay. The damage will be nice. And we struck it off. Blow. Okay, yeah, we made it through. Somehow, oh, and the anchor is really good. Double your strength. Nah. Reckless charge upgraded. Or exhaust one card and burn. No, sorry, ex exhaust one card, draw two cards. I don't want any of these. I want a card, of course. So we're probably doing the burn pact here. Or reckless charge upgraded. Exhaust one card would be nice. We already have a lot of it, but we don't have anything to really focus on strikes. Reckless charge, though, that's kind of what we're, uh, our style here is just attacking before and killing them before they can finish us. That heals us immediately, so that is super good. And then we have to go for the bonfire, we will heal. Uh, we are making it through, people. We are making it through. We're up to 34 on Searing Blow. Got to take this combat, of course. But this guy is easy. Well, I say that. And then he's doing that shenanigans. Um, well, we have 10 at the start, so I don't need to use an impervious in this round. So I think we shrug it off. There's the headbutt to Dig that back up. And then he's still doing damage to us, but we can overcome that with one defend. Uh, I could two grid. But then we don't get the impervious. No, I don't want to lose impervious. It's too good. He's just doing the same thing here, but we can dig up the impervious. Uh, I'll do that. And then true grit. Good. We'll take some damage here. Six. And vulnerable is nice when he's not attacking. So yeah, that worked out nicely. Oh, we can't clash. I think it's better to just do the two strikes then. Damn it. Beat me spores and we were immune to that. Trip makes him vulnerable and then this does 51 damage. So yeah. Headbutt. I'm seeing the combo there. We're going through the bonfire course, healing up and upgrading Searing Blow to 42. Reckless Charge does not enough. Oh, with the 
We flame it does. Oh, yeah. So we just murder this guy outright. And then we true grit. Do we? No, we close line this guy, of course. Much better. Cool beans. And a gen I mean, the ginger activates almost every fight. It is so good. Um, here, you headbutt. Yeah, you gotta headbutt. Well, did we have to headbutt? I don't think we had to headbutt. We should probably have used uh, corruption here. Interesting turn. I don't want to play anything. Oh, he's summoning. One, two more, not good. They're all attacking. Gotta use the defend here. So we can use the clash. This one does 16, so we can already just kill, kill two people. Oh boy. Clash. This does eight. Not Clash. Thunderclap. Oh, 12. Ah, four. Ah, so you gotta go for that guy. Wow. I can't play the reckless charge. Gotta try to snipe him now. End the combat. We are taking a whole lot of hurt here. And again, the ginger activating multiple times. Ow. Uh, struck it off or headbutt. You will not take a whole lot of damage. Two. So yeah, you soon blow headbutt. Take searing blow back. Next turn, he'll die. That's the combo right there. Or we take too much damage. Way too much. Oh, what? what? <laughs> I thought for sure we would just get him and I thought for a minute there we couldn't finish it and we would have died. Oh my god, 30 gold, you're 20% more likely to find treasure in question mark rooms. That's not what we want, we will take it. This is crap. <sighs> Pommel for 2 times 5, that's nothing. Then Rage will at least allow us to block a little bit more, and it's skilled. You can play for zero with the Corruption. That's Psy, that's bad. Okay, so you... Headbutt, headbutt, and get the headbutt back, and then True Grit. Interesting, yeah. Okay, that worked out nicely. Ginger activating. And we kill the one. Yes. No, but we will have to do this, I think. Ah, uh, that was a bad play. Yep, that was a bad play. Okay, hold on a tick. We can draw three cards combos with the corruption uh, so do will clash to then kill that guy uh, we've got to play the impervious apparently that's fine okay so we had the potion and because of that we didn't take a whole lot of hurt that's bad play on my part probably I think I could probably have played that better gotta shrug it off Got a trip, got a dual wheel, clash. Oh, 
bad play again. Should probably have killed him. No, he was already vulnerable. Never mind. Never mind. And kill. Right? Searing bow. 63. Sweet. And clash. If we have to take anything, it should be that. Uh, we will have to go and upgrade. Uh, what can we get it to? 51. What level are we on? Second? I think. It's never really clear. Thing is, Fruits Rest, Cerebro is already awesome. Getting, uh, what's nine more is really good. Could we die? We have a block potion too. Now I'll do it. I'll do it. I believe that guy. Reckless charge since he's not attacking. We can dual wield it. That makes sense this turn. Getting a whole lot of damage. And then I'll close line. It'll remove some debuff defense. I think we're dead though. Oh, we got too vulnerable that way. What am I doing? Yeah, that was a really bad play. And ah, oh, no, he can't be debuffed. Never mind. It's either six or twelve. Are we gonna be able to rush him down? I don't think so. No, you're kidding me. Eight attack is nothing. I think we gotta play the corruption. Yeah. One damage then. Let's see. Shrug it all. There you are. Searing blow. Headbutt. Get impervious? Ah, uh, wait a minute. He said. 166, we had 23. He's doing some amount of damage right now, but we got all the play going to blow. Because we played two grid this turn as well. And we have the block potion if we need it. Is that now? 8. 28. Yeah. Okay. Come on. One damage. We can dual wield it. Well, we definitely play to defend here. We might as well dual wield it, because why not? Oh, and that triggered the letter opener, which is nice. There's also an impervious here that we can get into hand whenever we want. We just kill that thing. We get it immediately. Or 51 to him. Minus 7. Ah. <sighs> da, 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 da. We're taking no damage. We could remove him completely. Get the impervious into the deck. We are going to reshuffle it now. Think that's the right play. 
we need the impervious assist. He's gonna buff himself. That's gonna 46. And we can't get the impervious, so we're dead. Ah, oh, man. Are we? Let's return to your hand. No. I mean, I'm playing it out here, because why wouldn't I? 24 block. Oh. That's 46. Isn't that fun? Ah, hmm. uh, oh, and I didn't see what HP we got him at, but I could have maybe have killed him next turn with a little bit of luck. GG. Oh well. Continue. Please unlock. We need one point. So there'll be more Slay the Spire in the future. Stay tuned. Bye bye.